uh, logics and goals part of my uh, challenge to read 31 to review 31 short stories in the month of october is to go into places that never been before read some new stories or revisit stories i've loved and maybe try something new and for today i decided i should go into creepypastas and i googled uh, what are the most famous creepypastas? I skipped uh, Slenderman, and here we are. Here we are in the Russian sleep experiment from from a bygone era, where people on the internet were uh, willing to believe that a communist country is enacting some inhuman exper experiments on people that lead to horrific circumstances. Thank God, this bygone era has passed sort of so this uh, creepypasta was published back in 2012 and it's a freaky one it's written like an article about a very secret experiment done in communist russia where the kgb uh, decided to put five people five political prisoners into a chamber and feed them with uh, stimulant gas for 30 days uh, by day 15, uh, the specimens were acting in a very strange ways. So, some soldiers go in and they, dis they discover that one of them is dead and uh, the rest of them have simulated themselves. They have uh, torn their skin, their entrails are hanging from the floor and they were eating their own flesh. So they take them out of the uh, chamber and they start performing certain uh, operations on them. Uh, one of them is sedated and when he sleeps he dies, the rest are begging them to give them uh, more of the, um, the stimulant gas before, because they are afraid to fall asleep. If they fall asleep they die, they feel no pain. It's freaky, it's body horror at its best um, and the way it's presented it feels very realistic. I mean, there is enough details to keep you occupied, to make you believe that maybe this is true, maybe this was a leak, but it's over the top. Uh, the whole uh, experiment is over the top, and uh, yeah, the way it ends is just creepy. Have you forgotten so easily? We are you. We are the madness, the lux within you all. Betting to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate in the silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal haven that we to your tread. So nearly free. Uh, at the end, uh, one of the researchers goes mad and kills the final survivors then kills himself and that story was creepy af uh, i'm not familiar with group pasta i have heard of them i may have listened to a couple of them but this one was uh, exquisite this one was working uh, perfectly because he, it's it's the lovecraftian per principle of uh, throwing enough details uh, that will make you believe some impossible stuff or not, not believe but you know consider them as uh, they may be true or just suspend your disbelief because yeah that's uh, that, there's a lot of freaky stuff in the story the body horror aspect is just over the top and that makes the story even better because it's so well uh, paced and so well built that when we get to some extreme stuff, uh, some stuff out of Hellraiser, you can believe that uh, within the concept of the story, of course, that yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, of course, there's no way you believe that. I know people believe that there was a, consp a conspiracy theory that it was real, but yeah, it was a creepypasta that's uh, totally fictional and we don't know who the author is. But it was a very effective story, and uh, yeah, uh, I was glad I went out of my comfort zone and read this one because I enjoyed it. And I would love you to leave comments about what's your favorite creepypasta because I want to explore more of the genre. It's really interesting. 
and it's really interesting because of uh, how this one is set up and I know that a lot of uh, creepypastas are supposed to be realistic you know uh, some sort of narration on herbal legends and something the protagonist saw and they're supposed to be able to keep the kayfabe of uh, them being real you know that they're supposed to uh, make us believe that uh, the author survived the author was able to see this or he heard it for an from another person uh, as an urban legend uh, they're basically internet's version of campfire stories and uh, if i heard this one around the campfire i'd definitely uh, be terrified by it it's, it's a great story it's over the top and you know what you can basically uh, make an article out of it maybe cut out the gore details and keep some keep keep the gore low and you can publish it as an article in a conspiracy magazine and yeah people will eat it up people will believe that this happened that's uh, the joy of reading this um, story it's clearly fictional you know that this is a this is a story all right however um the way it's written the way it's paced the way it's set up yeah you can definitely suspend your disbelief your disbelief and enjoy it as what it is and even do some modifications and people will believe it for real because that's how the internet is everybody lies on the internet and when i say i liked it i do not lie I do not lie about enjoying it, but I lie about other stuff, right? If you want to get to videos that contain lies, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you around. So nearly free.